hello guys hi welcome to my youtube channel this is my second video as from the title you guys have seen a trip to uganda yes went to uganda like for four days and here i have a few videos of my ugandan experience enjoy guys hi guys welcome to another video today as you've seen from the title we, it's a trip to kampala in uganda so as you can see i'm showing you the enviros we're getting ready we, we started preparing for the trip two days earlier we went to isiolo the isiolo general hospital to get a yellow fever vaccination so as you can see those are the isiolo enviros it's semi-arid the weather was so hot so yeah it took us like an hour to get to isiolo from meru yeah so that school took us for the vaccination yellow fever vaccination because it's an it's a must you have the card for you to pass the border to uganda or any other east african country like to tanzania yeah, so we took advantage of the free availability of the shot, the low fever shot at. So we finally arrived at Isiolo General Hospital. Yeah, went to the transport and emergency office. That's where they were giving students the injection. Yeah, so on the day of travel, we left Meru really early at 3 a.m., and got at the border very late at night yeah definitely had some stop by at nakuru yeah so welcome to uganda finally got at the border yeah we went through the immigration our documents were checked we must have your id your national id yellow fever we were checked we had our covid you also have to have your temporal passport or your east african passports for you to pass the border or for the immigration to clear you as we are waiting for the rest to be cleared we had our money exchange to ugandan money because you can't use your kenyan money in uganda so we exchanged our money to ugandan money and the rates were one kenyan shilling for 29 kenyan for 29 ugandan shilling yeah those that was the rate and it, it varied because that was, those are the pod outside the immigration but uh, at the bank it was about it, i think 28 yeah around there so first exchange our money as we waited for the race to get cleared so that we could proceed because our destination was in Kampala, Uganda, the city. Yeah. So, and the imagine being told like you're being given 10,000 for I don't know how much. Because there are 1,000 bob, it's around 30 bob Kenyan shillings. You can imagine that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so as we we're waiting for the rest to be cleared, my friend and I went to have some matoke greens and beans hey the beans slaps <laughs> I, I don't know how they cook their beans but it's really nice the matoke as well so we had our lunch as waited for the rest to be cleared so that we could proceed to kampala yeah and yeah the, the food was nice and unique you know in kenya we don't have matoke as much so we proceeded to the rest of the journey yeah i went through so we stopped by at ginger yeah as you can see is ginger we had some street food and i noticed uganda has a lot of street food we spoke cook from outside fish chicken chips yeah so after ginger yeah, those are my friends munching the snacks as we wait for the race so that you can proceed we also went through river nile it's at the road you pass by through it on your way to kampala 
this is the longest river. Australia is the longest river in the world. I've actually not done my research, but I think, yeah, it's the longest river in, Africa, in the world. And it's one of the sources of electricity in Uganda. Yeah, so that's the river. Nile for you, it's really, really big. Very big. So you reached in Kampala so late. As you can see, it's a very busy town. As we proceeded through past Kampala to Matuga, area called Matuga, because we're actually going to play at Ndenjo University. It's past Kampala. So we slept at Matuga, and the next day we woke up and went to Ndenje. As you can see, there are my friends taking videos. Finally arrived at Ndenje University, waiting for the games to start. The Enjoy University, there were preparations ready for the games. As you can see, the fields are being prepared. Yeah, cleaning around, shaping the grasses and cutting them. The school is so beautiful, as you can see. Yeah, those are the pitches. There's the pitch being getting ready. There's the basketball court. As you can see. Yeah. This I think is one of the administration blocks. It looks really nice. Very good. Yeah. So, uh, we went, walked around school. This, then we had this opening ceremony. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. There are fireworks as people celebrated the starting of the games, the East African games. For us, I'm a, as I'm a hockey player, there we played, we didn't play at Danger University, we were taken to Lugogo. It's a very beautiful place. It's it's part of Kampala. As you can see, still most rich people in Uganda stay in Lugogo. Yeah, and that is where the National Hockey Stadium is. So this is on our way to Lugogo. Lugogo in Kampala. Yeah, you, you can see they have KFC. Yeah, most of my friends went to have KFC there after our matches. As you can see, it's a very beautiful place. Looks really, really nice. Yeah, so this is on our way to the Hockey National Stadium. It's in Lugogo, Lugogo town. It's part of Kampala. It's a very beautiful place. Really, really nice. And it's on your way to Lugogo, it's very serene. Finally arrived at Lugogo. Actually, it's also the National Council of Sports. Yeah. Actually, in that area, there's there's the national there's like the sports house. They sell nice socks. There's where the parking is, and here is the MTN Arena. It's a very beautiful place. Looks really nice. This is also part of the National Sports Council. And then on the side, they have a bar and a restaurant. Then the hockey pitch is on the other side. Yeah, as you can see, we got there when the game was going on. Looks really, really nice. It's a mini stadium. Not so big, but looks really, really nice. Well maintained. The pitch is made of tough. Looks really, really nice. We're seated here enjoying the matches. As you can see, most of the referees were Ugandan. That's my team over there, the men's team getting ready for their first, first match. They're warming up. Warming up. As you're on the touchline. At the half half la half time with our coach. There's our coach. She's called Eshopaya. Coach Eshopaya. It's an amazing coach as you can see. It's half time. It's another match, we're enjoying it. Actually, just watching most of the games. Ready for our matches. Also, explore Uganda.
and then I bought some ice cream for a thousand Ugandan shillings. <laughs> That's approximately 30 bob Kenyan shillings, almost the same price in Kenya. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, and then we went back to Matuga. Street food almost everywhere. Uganda is full of street food everywhere. That's the chapati. Then there's breakfast. It's so weird. Ugandans have breakfast like they don't take tea most of the time in the morning. This is their breakfast actually. It's a mixture of rice, matoke, sweet potato and meat. So when you go there asking for breakfast, they'll serve you this plus a beverage made of cinnamon. It was yummy, yummy. Most of the mornings we had these, my friends, so nothing much. Then finally, the games got over. Got ready to get back home. Had my last snack, Ugandan samosa. It's made of like peas. They don't, they don't make, most of the places they don't make samosas made of beef. Yeah. On our way back, there was so much jam. There's Mandela Stadium over there. I saw it on our way back. It just looks really big. Then when on our way, almost at the border, we met these guys selling roasted chicken. With the stick. They literally put them on your face. Literally rubbing it on your face. You have to buy this one. Really, really nice. And they're so sweet. Have to eat them for you guys for the Ugandan experience. Actually, in Uganda, most of the places they sell this roasted chicken. Yeah, so we stopped by, bought some before we proceeded to the border. Basically, that was my Ugandan experience. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you've learned something from the video, if you've seen anything new we didn't know about Uganda, please comment down there. And please subscribe, like, and share.